A showdown over Silent Sam in Orange County. Good afternoon. I'm Tania Wright. And I'm Felicia Bolton. Several protesters appeared in court for charges connected to the Confederate monuments toppling and their demonstration. CBS 17's Richelle Edme was there as tensions rose. Richelle, what happened? So these were really cut and dry court cases here over in about five minutes. But it's what happened afterwards, that heated exchange that ended like this. About 20 minutes after these court hearings, this is what happened. The crowd chanted, fascists are not welcomed here. And a woman screamed back, move, go back to Africa. Now, I want to take you inside that Orange County courtroom. Raul Jimenez appeared first for his charge of defacing public property. He may seem familiar to you. That is because he was involved in the toppling of the Durham Confederate Monument. Then after him, Danielle Soquette, Choquette went before the judge for simple assault. Both of these demonstrators wanted Silent Sam down. Barry Brown, he wants it back up. Up. The member of a Confederate group was also in court on a simple assault charge. All three had a general hearing and now have new court dates in September and October. We talked to both sides about this ongoing con con Confederate monument controversy. They, they are upset with the way the, the community took action, that they should look for a way to reverse that law by passing 2015 protecting those, those monuments. And should you be held accountable in the court of law for the actions you took? I think that that's not my decision. That's a decision of the community, and the community has spoken that these charges need to be dropped. So then, what is next in this ongoing debate? Because we're both sides. We're going to get Sam back up, and we're going to all be happy, including the snowflakes. Neither side says they plan to back down on these demonstrations. Coming up at 12:30, I'll tell you about protests and demonstrations already planned for tonight, and the warning that UNC has. For now, reporting live in Orange County, Beershall Edmay, CBS 17 News.